How to create a dashboard on ClickUp. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you are all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to create your own dashboard that is going to help you out with many things. So basically, uh, for ClickUp, if you create a dashboard, you can use those to track many things. You can track the time. Uh, if you have sprints, it should be able to track sprints, charts, and just whatever you think you can actually track, you can track it using a dashboard. So pretty much uh all of those things can be included within the dashboard so let's actually go ahead and show you how to get started on creating your very own dashboard for your ClickUp account for you and your team members by default it's going to be private once you actually create it but you can also share it with your team members so first you will need to just log into your ClickUp like normal and then from here uh, with the home page and stuff, we will skip all of this and we will go to dashboards. You should see it on the left side panel uh, and just click on it. So here basically we have our dashboards here. So for the time being, we don't really have anything here. So uh, we can just go ahead and click on either start with a template and choose a template from here. But if you don't see it, usually that means uh something is you know covering up this entire section so you can just go ahead and instead click on new dashboard on the top right uh click on that and it's going to also give you pretty much the, the same options so here you can create a dashboard and you can use one of those templates simple dashboard team reporting time tracking project management client portal or even start from scratch now, the ones that say business, I believe that you actually need to um, upgrade to your business uh, plan. Now, if you don't really want to do that, you can you can also start, start a free trial if you haven't already. Uh, but we can actually just go ahead and choose whether we want to apply for a simple dashboard and use that. Or we can just start from scratch and just, you know, uh, create it from zero. So let's actually go ahead and start from a simple dashboard uh, template. So we just basically click on that and then we can just go ahead and do the rest. So here is going to be the location. So we can just go ahead and um, as, uh, pretty much select a specific space or even all spaces. But I prefer to just keep it as one space and I will just use it as the testing space. Yes, I'll be using the testing space uh and that's it's okay okay so now i'm good with this is this selected no i don't want it to be selected okay great okay so after you have selected the location of the dashboard that you want to create basically just click on create dashboard and now since we have uh, a template and we have used a template it's going to actually go ahead and show you up all of those things so basically those are cards okay and cards are going to allow you to track specific things here you can see those are going to be the task um, uh, trackers so unassigned in progress completed and also here you can see uh, with this chart same goes here so all of this is going to be for tasks and workload by status here also if, obviously nothing is showing up for me because i don't really have anything going on in my space here this is just for the sake of this example so anyways, those are cards. And what you can do with cards, you can actually go ahead and do many things. You can actually delete them. You can duplicate them. You can also do specific settings for specific cards. So not everything is going to be exactly the same. So for example, if you want to include subtasks for this one, which is the workload, you can do so and many more for each specific card. So again, you've got settings, you can move them around and uh, that, this is pretty much how to uh, navigate through the cards. Now, basically, what you want to do is make sure that you keep the things that you uh, would need. For example, we don't really want to see the total tasks by assigning. We don't really want this one. Uh, and by the way, if you want to see more information about anything, you can just go ahead and actually click on it. And it's actually just going to show you uh more details about this entire section or card okay so this is one is going to be total task by assignee so you can see here all the assignees and this is mostly me so it's 100 percent me not me, mostly it's just me so you can see but if there's more people then it's also going to show you the details here okay so let's say we don't really need this one so basically just go ahead and delete it 
don't bother keeping this if you don't really need it you can make things uh, a lot bigger here or make room for more uh, and just play around with the uh, style and spacing and stuff so for example you want to place this here and we want to add another card here instead of the one that we have just deleted we can do so so to add cards we just click on add card on the top right and now we have uh, a lot of cards that we can add now obviously i'm not going to choose for you you would know exactly what you want to create okay so for example you want to track sprints you go to the sprints section for the filters and you go ahead and select a card that is going to be suitable for tracking the sprints uh sprint burn down uh, sprint burn up and so much more here uh keep in mind that a lot of those are under the business plan but there are some that are actually not so workload by status uh, you can use this. So, for example, let's just actually use this. Uh, you just click on it. You can see all about it. You can set up the settings. You can even set up the name. Uh, and once you're happy with it, we can just go ahead and add a card. As it should be at the bottom at, at first. Uh, what we can do is just drag it up to where we want it to be, which is right here. I need to make more space for it. Hold on. Okay, so you can just make it smaller just until you move it and you can just again uh, make it a little bit bigger. So uh, now we have these two cards and we have this workload by status. I guess it's exactly the same thing, just a different type of chart. Uh, and you can again just click on it and see how it goes. And this is pretty much how to create your dashboard. So just keep on uh, uh, finishing up your dashboard here by adding cards removing cards or editing cards to your liking for example time tracking here uh, or tables so you can actually see task views uh, and many things like honestly there's a lot but obviously as you can see a lot of them are under uh, some sort of plan uh, but with that being said i hope this is very clear to you how to actually go ahead and do so so for example we just want the priority breakdown uh, we can actually just click on it set up the settings and even if you don't set up the settings now we can actually go ahead and do so later on so just add card and uh, if you want to edit the settings click on the settings and you should have them again not only that but if you click on the three dots you also get more stuff like exports if you want to actually export it um, as an image uh, or a pdf even and you can also duplicate it if you want uh, and much more if you click on it you get more details uh, you can move it around and this is pretty much it. This is how to create a dashboard. It's very simple and easy to do. It's not going to be complicated at all. The only backside is if you are using the free version, there are, there are a lot of cards that are actually require you to upgrade to the business plan. Uh, but other than that, I believe it is very self-explanatory and easy to use. Resize, delete, add cards. This is pretty much it. And if you want, you can just always go back. And now we have our own uh, dashboard now. You can always create a new dashboard for a completely different project or a completely different space uh, and add more stuff that are related to that. Basically, that's all there is to it. Uh, and also, I just need to note one more thing if it's not already obvious. Uh, if we go to this one, the progress in here uh, for all of these charts and all of these stats over here is going to be uh dependent on the space that you chose the location for like if you remember if we start creating a dashboard it's actually going to ask us about the location uh, and th this is pretty much where it's going to get all the information from so make sure you select the proper space to get to the proper information with that being said this is pretty much how to create a dashboard for clickup i hope it was easy for you to follow and this is pretty much it and thanks for watching